Hi, and welcome to another tutorial on ProPresenter 4 brought to you by WorshipMediaPro.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about creating a new presentation, or in this case, song lyrics, and also adding songs by importing them from a text file and then adding them to your own playlist. So uh, this is going to help you in uh, creating your new songs lyrics database, also creating presentations, and, uh, and really building up that songs database by importing from a text file, uh, whether it be an export from Easy Worship or Media Shout or just some other um, software that you've been using in the past and you're now switching to ProPresenter 4. Okay, and then I'm also going to talk about uh, putting some Bible verses and passages into your library and then utilizing those in your playlist too. Now the main idea of these tutorials is to get you started right away in using ProPresenter on your first Sunday service and, and my goal is that you can within about 25 minutes of videos get everything you need to know to to start your first Sunday service using ProPresenter. I mean that's how easy and intuitive ProPresenter is. It's just learning how to navigate around the system. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop out my video and image bin. So I have a lot of real estate here to work with. Of course, the screen on your um, iMac or your MacBook is uh, probably going to be a lot bigger than this. I have just shrunk this down to 1280 by 720 to fit inside of my video recording system. Okay, and, uh, and the first thing I'm going to talk about is the library. So what is this library here? Well, if you go up to ProPresenter on the top left and you go to Preferences, you click on the general tab and you'll see that the library folder is default. You can manage libraries by creating multiple libraries and this might be a good example if uh, you have uh, a high school ministry that plays on Thursday and they have different worship lyrics that they use or maybe they have a different Bible translation that they use for the high schoolers and then of course you have your traditional Sunday service and that's in a completely different library of lyrics and maybe a different Bible translation for that. You might want to keep the library separate. In this example here, I'm just going to use the default library, but that's where you can find that. All right, now uh, the first step here is I'm going to import a song, and I'm going to import it from a plain text file. So right now I have my ProPresenter 4 folder that I've created on my documents here, and, uh, and this is my training series that I have. And I'm just going to collect, uh, let's see here, I'm going to do songs import. Okay, so I'm going to open that up. This is a text file. And, uh, and inside this text file here, you see I have some metadata such as the, the title and maybe author information, copyright info, public domain song here, the love of God. And I also have each one of the verses broken up into paragraphs. So that's actually how I'm going to separate this when I import it into uh, ProPresenter. Now I can import from a text file or a rich text, which is, uh, this is a text file. The one I just showed you was the uh, rich, uh, rich text version. Okay, so I'm going to go back to ProPresenter, I'm going to go up to File, I'm going to go to Import, Import File, and as you can see here, the exact same uh, folder I was in, I'm going to go to Songs Import, and what I'm going to import it as, as Imported, is my new playlist. And the reason why I want to do this is a little bit of a, a way of backing out of an import. Let's just say that uh, you made a mistake on the text file that you were importing. Well, you want to know each one of those, what they were, so that you can remove them from your main library. So by creating a playlist, you're going to be able to separate that. Now, it will import it into your library uh, automatically. But instead of just doing that only, let's create a playlist too so we can make sure we have them separated, what we've just imported. And I'm also going to say, hey, break by my paragraph. I can also use some custom stuff like a colon or a semicolon or maybe double forward slashes or double forward slashes and a semicolon, you know, something to, to separate uh, each one of my slides. But in this case, I'm going to use paragraph breaks, okay? And I'm going to say continue. And then once I've done that, you'll see it also populate here in just a, a little little moment here. It'll populate into uh, my libraries, and there it is. And I'm also going to change my category by just highlighting it here in the library, right-clicking it, go to category, and select song for the category. All right. And uh, there we go. And if I just click on my uh, different uh, um, slides here, you'll see the song displaying on my preview. Okay, and now what I can also do is I can do Command A to select all of it, and I can go to my templates, and I can select my pre-made Worship Media Pro template, and as you see, it just changed the formatting. Let's go into the template here and take a look at what it is. I just went to temp uh, templates, 
WMP template one and edit the template group. Okay, so this is my template here. And as you can see in my template, this is the area of real estate that I'm taking up. I can move this around, of course, to fit maybe kind of backgrounds that I'm working with or whatever it might be. And uh, also I've selected Helvetica. I've left it basically default there. I've added a little bit of an outline to it. The outline is white, so I can change that to be maybe black. Okay, or maybe even like a dark gray or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Let's uh, actually, you know what? Let's go here. I don't want to get too fascinated on setting that up. Okay, we'll go to here. We go grayscale. Okay, there. We'll leave it gray. Okay, and then kerning is separating my text. All right. And, uh, and I'm also centering my text as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and say done. And uh, sure enough, there's my templates. I'm gonna do Command A, I'm gonna reapply it just to make sure if I made any changes, it's also going to be applied here. Now I can do Command 1, and what Command 1 does is it presents it onto my output screen, and I can take a look at what it what it's displaying and looks pretty good. So it looks like I got my little gray border there, which is great, helps a nice little separator uh, from the motion background that you see playing. Okay, that's the, that's this particular song. Now, I'm, I always recommend doing save all, that way in case you have some other songs you've been working on you forgot about, you wanna make sure you're saving everything before you close out ProPresenter. So I go back up the file and I do save all. Oops, not, I'm sorry, <laughs> save all, <laughs> not save as. There we go. So I did save all and you notice the color changed here on this little icon. All right. Now I can also edit this guy. I can go into edit mode. So I can go into editor and I can edit each one of these guys individually if I chose to do so, but they're fine. So I'm gonna leave it just like it is. I'm gonna close that out. And now let's talk about creating a song. So I can create a song here by simply adding a new, uh, a file to my library and I'm gonna call it Amazing Grace and I'm gonna change it from presentation to song okay and now I'm gonna to go to edit mode and as you can see I have my first box here my first slide and my slide here incorporates boy a lot of real estate which is alright that's fine I'm just gonna close this in a little bit here so we're not taking up all of that space there for text Oops, you know, we'll leave it like that so that at least we can use a lot of the, the side room. Okay, and then I'm gonna bump up my kernel a little bit. That's spacing of the text. I definitely recommend doing that. Let's add a small, uh, again, stick with that kind of a gray. All right, uh, maybe make it bold. Okay, there we go, that looks good. All right, now let's get some, let's get some lyrics. So I have Amazing Grace here already saved in a text file. So I'm just gonna highlight my first one here. Um, which is uh, just amazing grace, how sweet the sound. All right, and then I'm going to go back to my uh, Pro Presenter, and I've, I highlighted text, and I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna paste and match style, okay? So that way I'm not, it's not gonna be some funky format when I paste it in there. I'm gonna add a new slide by clicking my plus button down here, and I'm just gonna continue to do the same thing. So here I have amazing grace, and I'm going to now jump to my next slide and again I'm just going to highlight text I'm going to right click and paste to match style save you doing a lot of headache here for formatting now I'm not going to continue to add the rest of them for this training series I'm just going to say done all right so I've said done I've did a com uh, command a to select all of them and I'm going to apply it to my new template and I'm also going to go back up here do file and save all Okay, so I've saved everything. I'm gonna add Amazing Grace to my, oops, I'm gonna add Amazing Grace to my playlist. I'm gonna add the love of God, and I'm gonna add Amazing Grace. And hey, let's add now a passage. So I'm gonna jump up to Bibles here. I have the American Standard Version. I already selected uh, Daniel 10, uh, one through three, and uh, let's just go ahead and bump, yeah, let's just go ahead and use one through three. I think that's good. So here we go, I have a passage each and uh, and then I'm going to say, add the verse numbers to this template, okay? I'm gonna say, hey, use my, uh, my Worship Media Pro template, and as I do that, you notice that it will now separate it into two slides because it just takes up a lot of real estate. So I can go back to my default. Looks like it crunches it all into one. So let's just stick with the default. Looks good, I just, I'm looking at my output display right now, and that looks fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna say, create presentation. So once I click on that button down 